How do trees reduce emissions? Well, trees are sequestering carbon from the time they're planted in a, what's called a sigmoidal way. Slow at the start, fast after about five or 10 years, that's called an inflection point, and then it sort of tails off after that. And although the rate of carbon sequestration changes over the lifetime of the tree, they're always sequestering carbon. There's quite a few carbon markets. The Australian Government Scheme used to be called the Emissions Reduction Fund, now called the ACU Scheme. Underneath that, there's quite a lot of forestry-based carbon market instruments. In all cases, and in all carbon markets, you have what's called a baseline, where you register their existing condition, what was the status quo management. Then you come along with your project, and then you get audited for that every five years, and it can be for a minimum of 25 years or a maximum of 100 years. It has to be fully audited by a carbon developer. A lot of paperwork, a lot of administration, so you really need a third party to do that. And if your carbon has demonstrably improved at each auditing time, you get paid in ACUs, Australian Carbon Credit Units. Do your research very carefully. Do your research by reading, do your research by talking to people who have done it before. Talk to experts who work in the field and who know about carbon sequestration. If you're wanting to do just an exploratory analysis, there's many different tools you could use.